Hi guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight and today we're going to be looking at uh, another Railcraft block this time it's the World Anchor which looks like this it's got an Ender Pearl on the top nice little gold anchor on the sides um, what this basically is, is a chunk loader it's going to uh, keep chunks loaded while you're out of range of them so that if you've got processes that are working they're going to carry on working if you've got trains that you want to keep running they're going to keep running uh, with one of these blocks nearby it will actually load a 3x3 three three chunk around it and you can see that there is a hotkey and I'll show you where to find the hotkey uh, if you go to options controls and scroll all the way down there's a railcraft anchor aura which you can set a keybind to. Now at the moment I've got it set to my right shift so if we go back into the game and I hit the right shift what we'll see is we'll see lots of pretty purple uh, lights in whichever chunks are affected by this anchor. Now as you can see this is I've turned the chunk grid on on the mini map so you can see but this is 3x3 three three chunks around around this world anchor which is cool so that's going to keep this whole area loaded so that if we're doing anything automated that we want to, uh, to carry on while we're not here uh, this is going to let it happen now the recipe for this um, as you can imagine if you look at the block you'll probably see gold uh, Ender pearl, obsidian, and if we look at the recipe. We've got gold, obsidian, and ender pearl. We've also got some diamond in there as well, and quite an expensive recipe. They're not actually the things that you're going to need to be crafting an awful lot of. You will probably need some initially, and then you will just you want to chunk load as few chunks as possible because the more chunks you have loaded the more work you're giving your computer so you need to be quite um, thoughtful about where you use chunk loaders and where you don't obviously there are some situations where you need to use chunk loaders um, otherwise you're going to cause yourself other problems uh, particularly with long stretches of track which uh, railcraft can get you doing quite quickly um, but otherwise that's the world anchor now there is another version and I will probably cover this later on there's an anchor cart which is the base basically the same thing except this will work on rails um, so you could run it along behind or as part of a train um, but we'll cover that later on. You basically put a world anchor with a with a minecart. But there you go. There's the world anchor. I uh, I hope you find that recipe useful. It is one of uh, several chunk loaders that several different mods provide. Um, this is a Railcraft one. I think it's one of the more expensive chunk loaders and with that in mind you will probably want to use it more as a as part of a rail cart if you're using the other mods if you're not using the other mods then this is your option uh, there is a companion block that goes with this which I will show in tomorrow's spotlight and I hope you'll come back and see that as well because that extends the functionality of this block a little bit so thanks for watching uh, please follow me on Twitter and on Twitch as well, and I will see you next time.